Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I'm here today to do a fun marker review on the Ohuhu markers. Ah, it just sounds like it's from Hawaii. Oh, let's call them the Moana markers. Moana! Anyways, I have seen many art channels review these markers, and I've watched all their videos, all my favorite um, YouTubers, including Doodle Date. They did a video yesterday, and I saw, oh my gosh, they're doing the Ohuhu markers. <gasps> I'm, I filmed this this week and I thought, oh my gosh, you're gonna think I'm copying them. <laughs> no. Anyways, I really wanted to do a review on these markers just to see what the hype is about because a lot of people always ask me, all right, Copic markers are expensive. Oh my gosh, Prismacolor markers are expensive. How about the Ohuhu markers? Okay, so the Ohuhu markers are actually very cheap on Amazon and you get all the colors you just saw. That's 80 markers for $40. Oh my goodness, it is a deal. So I wanted to go ahead and show you each tip. You got a nice fine tip on one side and then the chisel tip on the other side. And they're very lightweight. Um, they're very lightweight compared to Copic markers. I didn't look, I didn't break one open to see what was inside. <laughs> I didn't really want to, <laughs> but you know, they're very lightweight compared to Prismacolor pencils and Copic markers. So they're easy travel case um, that they came with. You can carry them everywhere. They're not that heavy. So I doodled this picture of joy and sadness from Pixar's Inside Out. So I wanted to go ahead and do joy in the Ohuhu markers. Now let's go ahead and talk about how I felt about the Ohuhu markers, um, the Moana markers. <laughs> I should have just done, I should have done a picture of Moana instead of, uh, Joy and Sadness. I don't know, but I just wanted a good comparison and I wanted a good fair amount of, uh, colors on each character so that I could go ahead and compare each, um, each markers to each other. So the Ohuhu markers, I found myself, I know a lot of people prefer using the chisel tip as opposed to the fine tip or the, uh, paintbrush tips that some of the alcohol based markers come with but I have to be honest I really enjoyed using the chisel tip for once in my life but you know these markers they cover a good fair amount they get nice and fine and detailed when you use the other side but then the chisel tip it was really easier to work with I don't know why probably because the shape or how narrow it was but honestly I really liked using the chisel tip on the hoo -hoo markers <laughs> this is gonna become a tongue twister <laughs> anyways so I really enjoyed these they blended very well together and I would absolutely recommend them to a beginning artist who cannot afford uh, Copic markers or Prismacolors yet yeah, or even heck the Michaels Artist Loft they're kind of expensive too so just looking at alcohol markers in general and you were to ask me so I really want a lot of colors I don't have a lot of money I have a budget where can I get good alcohol based markers on a budget I'm going to say it's got to be the Ohuhu markers now what I did was I went back to back so I did joy in the Ohuhu markers and then I used sadness in my Copic markers the only real difference that I could say between the two they both blend very well with each other the more layers you, you if you know how to do layers on top of layers with alcohol based markers then the only thing that's different from the two is the paintbrush tip that's all I've got I mean that's all I have to say the colors you can see joy is you, you, I mean joy is a crazy amount of yellows and orange and peaches and she has this weird looking yellow dress that almost looks green you know it, it's just that the colors are both equally bright there is no color uh, I mean there's no color difference you, you know sadness her, I have sadness in the blue and then you have joy with the blue in her hair so the blues compared to each other they look really good compared to each other they look like there's no difference so if you were going up to me and you were asking me in person what's the best alcohol brand markers to buy that are the cheapest for me but I need to start practicing with alcohol based markers I'm gonna point you in the direction to go onto Amazon and purchase the Ohuhu markers. I don't know if you can purchase these in stores. I found them off of Amazon. I think every other artist that I've watched their videos, they found it on Amazon. I don't know if it's on Dickblick or if it's on some art 
store websites. So if you're international and you're looking for these markers, then I would say go and check out Doodle Dates because they're European, so let's see if where they got theirs from. And I, I don't know, I just really don't know if they sell in art stores, but I found them on Amazon. I used my Amazon Prime and they were here within three days and they were in great condition. I really, 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 really like these markers. And yes, I would definitely, I would give them to anybody as a gift or I would give them to any of my art friends because with 80 colors, you just, for 80 colors for $40, you don't see that anywhere. You really don't get that kind of deal any any other place. I mean, the, I don't see any other deals like that on Amazon or at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any of the independent art stores that I go and visit. I don't see those deals. Um, this is a great find and a great deal for you guys to go ahead and snatch up those Ohuhu markers just so you can start somewhere when it comes to alcohol-based markers. And maybe one day when you run out of ink out of all your Ohuhu markers, then go ahead and branch off and buy those Copic markers or Prismacolor markers, whatever brand you want. Just branch off and go off to the good old side. Uh, this is just a good place to start. So if it's your birthday or your Christmas uh, <laughs> Christmas present in, um, Jan uh, we're in January, so just something to consider or the Easter Bunny can bring you it in his basket. You, you know, the Ohuhu markers or ask, beg your parents for them because it is a good place to start. Have you had experience with Ohuhu markers? Please leave in the comments down below if you have experience with these markers or what's your favorite brand or if you have another cheap brand of alcohol good quality based markers, then leave in the comments down below so all of us can go ahead and take a look. I love looking at them as well. So yes guys, have a wonderful day. Bye!